In calculations involving thermal processes, we often need a value of thermal connectivity of food or materials that contact food such as metals, water or air. Now one approach to finding out a value of thermal connectivity is to look up for that value in various books and papers. Often books on heat transfer have tables, usually in the appendices, that contain thermal conductivity values. For foods, the available data may be more limited. Another approach is to estimate values of thermal conductivity if we know the composition of the food. A very simple empirical formula is suggested by Professor Vin Sweat, who was earlier at Purdue University and later retired from Texas A&M. He found that for many of the high moisture foods, we can write thermal conductivity equal to 0 0.148 plus 0 0.493 times xw. In this equation, x is the moisture content given as the mass fraction. So if the moisture content of a food is 80%, then we will use 0 0.8 for the fraction in that equation. This expression gives us good estimates of thermal conductivity for foods with moisture contents greater than 60% wet basis. If we know more about various components in the food, there are two other expressions that we can use. In this first equation, we have thermal conductivity expressed in terms of the mass fractions of various components. Note that the first one is carbohydrate, then the next one is the mass fraction for protein. The next one is for the amount of fat. The next one is for the amount of ash content. And then XW is the mass fraction for the amount of water. Now again, remember that we have to use the, these X values in terms of fractions. Finally, there is a, another widely used expression for thermal conductivity based on the food composition. This uh, equation was developed by uh, Choi and Professor Okus at uh, Purdue University in 1986. Here, K is thermal conductivity, N is the number of components in the food, such as carbohydrate, fat, water, etc. Ki is the thermal conductivity of that component, of the ith component. And Yi is the volume fraction of, the, of that component or the ith component. Now, Yi is given by this equation, where Xi is the weight fraction of the ith component, and Rho I is the density of the ith component. Now, Choi and Okus provide empirical equations that allow predicting properties at desired temperatures. Uh, these empirical equations, if you are looking up in the Introduction to Food Engineering textbook, are in a table uh, in the appendices. The table number is A2.9. The composition of some of the selected foods is given in table A2.8. Using these expressions, we first calculate the volume fraction, yi, and then we will substitute the yi value in the equation for thermal conductivity to obtain the estimate of k. These steps can be also programmed in a spreadsheet. In summary, thermal conductivity of high moisture foods can be determined using a simple mathematical equation. If more information on the food composition is known, then we can write a spreadsheet and use Choi and Ocus equation.